On this RV short, we're going to go over some basics of the TV operation and a lot of different campers, but this has been specific to the Geo Pro TV that's set up here. So I'm not going to get into all the details of all the setups and the, the remote, but we're going to go over the basic operation of the actual TV, how to run it, how to ch uh, set the channels up, and... Uh, also, at the very end, we're going to do a little quick setup on uh, hooking a Google uh, Google Play setup on that, where you can actually sling your Netflix from your phone or anything like that up there. So we're going to get into that, and we'll go step by step. Okay, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over the controls over on the side. And uh, you basically see there's a volume control at the top. The channel can select the next one down. Next one has menu and source. And then we have the DVD, pause, play. And the very bottom one is the power button. Just for reference, letting you know that we're running right now off the 12 volt system. That's the way it comes. And pretty much everything we're gonna do is the way it comes from the factory. It's already hooked up to the Furion system. And I'll go over that detail here in a little bit. Okay, the first thing you wanna do, and this is for if you're running off the TV, you want to go back behind here and back in this control back in here you'll see a button right in here you push that button and you'll see a green light that is your i guess it's an antenna boost of some type but if you don't have that pushed in you can't tune your channels in now we're going to hit the very bottom button which is the power button it's going to come on right now it's in the tv mode one thing you want to do is on your antenna It'll be laying there and you have a metal piece that sticks out. You want that metal piece to point toward the very known direction of the big town or where you think your, your signal is going to come in. So I've actually got mine set up and I know that this, these points don't mean anything, but I actually went up, up and looked and I actually put a little mark here that lets me know that that's where that antenna is facing that way. And I know my, my signal comes from the north which for me is at that angle right down this way okay when you once you turn on your tv you may not have a picture like me i already got mine tuned in but if you want to tune it in and it's just blank up there you go to your remote control and you go to your menu menu right here you look at the here and you'll see you'll see that cross picture audio time and you use your controller right here come across to where it says channel and then come down and it sees says auto scan then you go to the right and then you hit the middle button for enter and it will start the auto scan if you've got it pointed toward the general directions of where you think your signals are coming from okay once it gets done it's going to go back and it's going to show you that one channel I think I end up with like, uh, gosh, what did I end up with here? Let me see what we got. I think I ended up with, I don't know, about 30 channels. Okay, if you've got, most likely you do have the Fury on system, and it should be hooked up. Mine's factory hooked up. So what you want to do then is push your power button on. And this is actually, you can get your sound. If you go to source now, and you hit actually it's the auto AV is where it's hooked up at so you get the sound through your AV system and so that will allow you you can adjust your sound on your TV and I have the FD model so my speakers are back here so you can kind of get this nice sound in your couch area and I know some of the other models have the, the speakers in other places but now to show you the other I'm going back over to this third button down the back and then there's audio visual uh, there's some other plugs that I don't use HDMI which that's going to come in handy here in a little bit I want to show you what we can you can do with Netflix uh, there has a VGA set up here if you've got hook up like a monitor and then you if you have a, a pictures on USB drive and then you go to your DVD and if you hit that then your DVD will start working and you have controls for that at the bottom I won't go over those controls but you basically can load on your DVD right here on the side. So this, I'm gonna tell you, is more of an advanced 
thing but this is something I've tried and it worked out pretty good is using a Google Chrome doggle setup and I'll show you how that works first thing you want to do is come back over here on your TV go to the third one down in the back hit source and you want to hit that until you have the HDMI now what that's going to do is on your Furion system you now want to go power it up and you want to hit your source until you see HDMI at that point you want to take your your chrome doggle here and plug it into your HDMI on the actual Furion system and it comes with a USB set up here and you can power it on right here and this USB on the actual Furion system and you'll see it's powered up and we should come up with there it comes Chromecast so there's a whole lot to setting up this Google system. If you haven't already set it up, I won't get into the details of that. That's something you'll have to read your instructions for. But basically, you have to have a Google Home and you have to have a way of tying that in, which I've already tied my system in. So we'll just use the Netflix app. You will see this little icon in the bottom right corner here. And what that is, that's designed to, to basically put it into your Google Chrome and you click it on here and we'll pick the location and it's going to actually put Netflix up on the TV here uh, like I say that's this little more advanced stuff there just to let you know there's some things that you can do with this that, that are pretty nice uh, the only thing I haven't really figured out how to do is the audio if you do this the audio comes through the TV and I can't seem to get it to go through my speaker system but like I say, it's nice if you want to be able to watch YouTube videos or Netflix or something like that. But um, that's all I've got up right now with this uh, basic setup of the TV system in an RV. Uh, a lot of other RVs will be similar to this type system, but this is definitely specific to the GeoPro brand. So uh, that's all I have for now. If you've got any other ideas that you've done on hooking up TVs and other type devices to this TVs in your RV uh, put it down in the comment and uh, if you have any questions let me know and we'll see you again on the next short